put this in context. We have the graphs of our basic power functions. And we have one to that, which is the inverse of the cubic function, which is the cube root or one-third power function. Okay? If we put all these graphs, and I didn't include this one because it's a little hard to uh, draw it in there, it kind of blurs in with another one, uh, but I'm going to ask you to draw the same picture by making your tables. Okay? Uh, and draw your basic functions. Uh, here's graphs of all of them put together. Notice they all go through 1, 1. And except for the x to the negative 1 half, which isn't defined for negative values of x, they would all go through either negative 1, negative 1, or negative 1, 1. And there's a pattern to these things. Okay? To illustrate the use of that pattern, uh, it turns out this is very important for understanding thermodynamics. You understand, want to understand what goes on in a, an engine, it's kind of important to understand this, yeah, if you're going to understand it at the engineering level. Okay? I'm not going to explain why, it just is. Uh, and it's important for understanding the limits of thermodynamics and why you can only get so much energy out of, say, a geothermal system or whatever. Um, so, uh, Here's the power negative 2, here's the power negative 1 function. Ask the question, where's the power negative 5 halves? Where's that graph? Well, negative 5 thirds, sorry. Okay, 5 thirds is between negative 1 and negative 2, so the graph ought to be between between those two graphs. Now, do we have a scale on this thing? Can we, if I gave you this graph and asked you to right at scale, what would you do? You would know that this point where they cross is 1, 1. Okay? So now we know that here's 1, and here's 1. Okay? And we know that this graph goes through the point 1, 1 because all power functions go through the point 1, 1. Because if x equals 1, x to any power equals 1 because 1 to any power is 1, and we know that. Okay, you have to be able to relate that to the arithmetic, but all I'm going to say is, well, okay, so if I want to draw a graph of the 5 thirds power, I might not have it exactly at the right point between these two, but I see how it compares to the graph of the negative 1 power and the negative 2 power. Okay? And the most important picture in thermodynamics involves four power functions. And thermodynamics, uh, you know, we wouldn't have any even decent steam engines if it wasn't for the science of thermodynamics. So. You'd be grateful to power functions for something. Unless you just don't like being transported efficiently. Okay? So, anyhow, there it is. Uh, so just an example of why they're power why they're powerful, they are, why they're important.